Speed is a well-known contributor for many uh, serious and fatal crashes. The faster you drive, the more room you need to stop. A car, when it's moving, has a certain amount of kinetic energy, and to change that kinetic energy, we have to apply force to it. If you're falling from 10 storeys, you're obviously going to get a lot faster before you hit the ground. If you double the speed of impact, you actually have four times the amount of energy. So you're going to have nine times the amount of energy at impact. When you're falling out of a building, uh, that motion is going to be vertical. In a car accident, it's horizontal, but the forces and energies involved are exactly the same. If you had a car accident at 90 kilometres an hour and you stopped in a metre, you're going to be suffering a, a force on your body 32 times greater than your body mass. While at 30 kilometres an hour, we're talking about one tenth of that value. The speed makes a huge difference. If you double your velocity, you have four times the energy. Triple the velocity, you have nine times. So huge, huge differences. Speeding increases your risk of causing a crash. Um, injuring either yourself or others and possibly causing death. The way the car accident happens has a large impact on the outcome for the driver or a pedestrian. In a side impact, you have a lot less crumple zone. You don't have much chance to slow down before you actually get impacted by the side of the vehicle. In a front-on collision, you have a lot larger what we call crumple zone. The vehicle is a lot better designed to actually absorb the energy of impact. And if you're a pedestrian, you have no crumple zone at all. So speed makes a massive, massive difference to car crashes. Most people have a reaction time of about one second. And at 90 kilometres per hour, you're actually travelling at 25 metres per second. Cars don't actually handle as well at speed. Most people don't realise this. But your tyres don't grip as well at 90 kilometres an hour as they do at 30 kilometres an hour. My message to motorists would be stick to the speed limits, adjust it to the conditions if necessary, and help keep our roads safe.